Thank you guys so much for being here. We're hyped to be here with you guys. Uh, to my right, we have Sam Newton. He's a travel filmmaker. Uh, he's amassed a following of almost 200,000 on YouTube. So I'm really excited to be here with you. And then to my right, we also have Dikla Bengio. She's the manager of the Artless Partnerships team. And I'm just super excited to be here with you all and be talking about secrets for building better brand partnerships. So for those that don't know Dikla, could you give me a little, little brief summary of what Artlist is? Yes, of course. So Artlist is a creative technology company that provides digital assets for content creators and brands worldwide. We have music and we have sound effects and we have footage and we have templates and we just launched our new AI voiceover generator, which is insane. Basically, Artlist has all the essential tools to inspire and empower content creators and brands to just create without limits. Amazing. So you two have been working together for quite some time. Tell me about how this relationship first started, Dikla. Um, so we reached out Sam when he had about 5,000 subscribers. He was a small nano influencer. Uh, we saw a talented travel videographer that traveled to 30 countries in three years and managed capturing every single moment in the most inspiring and magical way. We saw the consistency of his videos being uploaded. We saw the engagement that he had in his videos. We saw the quality of his content and that he has the creative flair that we want associated with our brand. And so we decided to reach out to him because we saw the potential of growth. We knew that if we supported him, we would help him grow. And I think when brands reach out to creators in their early stages without having any short-term expectations, in the long run, we see incredible results. And today, Sam has nearly 200,000 subscribers. And I think there isn't a month that goes by that we don't do some sort of collaboration. Sam, what was it like when you got that first original email? Yeah, so basically I make travel films first and foremost. I'm a travel filmmaker. Uh, and I got reached out to six years ago by Artlist, I think, to m be the very first YouTube sponsor on my channel. And as a smaller creator, it's like the most exciting email you can ever get. Uh, it was like, hey, Sam, we've seen this video specifically. We really want to engage with you. We really want to see your channel grow more. Uh, so what about if we get into a longer term partnership? Like, we just want to give you a little bit of space, like Dikla said, to grow your channel and see where this could go. Because we understand right now you don't have the biggest audience, but we see your, your presence on camera and we see your relationship with the, the, the small audience you do have. And we want to uh, empower you to grow a little bit more. They weren't like, hey, Sam, after video one, if you haven't hit these metrics, we're out. It was like, let's do a four or five video runway. We just want to grow with you. We just want to see how this goes. And for me, it just made me want to perform better as a creator because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's about building better relationships. I've directed commercials for Artlist. I've done voiceovers for Artlist. I've made music, which is now in their catalog. Yeah, it's just been a really incredible journey over the past uh, six years to, to build this partnership. And it's something that I enjoy being a part of and uh, it's been a good relationship so far. When it comes down to actual brand deals and when it comes down to actual conversions, uh, that's brands want to see that, right? They want to see you do well and, and succeed. And I think the best way for a creator to do that is to make videos that feel like you. Make videos and have brand deals that feel very true to who you are specifically. Uh, if you don't know who I am in my, my channel, I have very dumb, stupid humor, dad joke style stuff. I make music, which is like Lil Dicky style music to the niche of like filmmakers and photographers. It's so heinously niche and stupid, but we put a lot of production <laughs> behind it and have a lot of fun with it. And I reached out to Artlist instead of just doing like a regular brand deal where I sit down and say, hey, this video is sponsored by Artlist. Artlist is the best place to get music, <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Uh, I was like, well, what if we did a bigger campaign where I can actually make a song, we can put it on the Artlist catalog and people can use it and we can integrate it in a very, very fun and interesting way. I did have an actual brand deal at the end, but this whole thing was an entire just creative brand deal, which was a lot more fun. And I came to them and I pitched just a much more energetic and enthusiastic thing. And at the end of the day, if you're a creator, don't, if a brand comes to you and they're like, hey, this is what we want, don't be afraid to like show up and say, hey, 
what if we did this instead? What This is my voice. I like to do things a little bit this way because there's no rule book for this. And if they say no, and if they want to stick to their ri like rigid structure, it might not be the brand deal that you want. Dikla, this one's for you. Now, what do you think are the superpowers that influencers have in the market landscape right now? Capturing attention. Um, because I think it is very, very important to understand that marketeers have exactly a few seconds to try to capture the attention of an audience with an ad that will probably seem intrusive and will struggle to hold and capture attention. Normally, these ads are being skipped or ignored because the audience has zero patience to watch them. I skip them myself. As opposed to influencers that have already captured the attention. And what it means is that anything that they endorse, anything that they promote will get higher levels of interest and impact in comparison to traditional advertisements. And I think that's why it's super crit critical to understand that when you do a brand deal or a sponsored integration, you have to understand that it is not equal a traditional ad. Yes, of course. Every brand has talking points, they have a brief, they have a message that they want you to deliver, but they do not interfere with the way you, they, you choose to deliver this message. It needs to be organic and natural, and it needs to be appealing and engaging to your audience with nothing scripted or commercial. And I always emphasize, don't try to sell anything. Show the product. Show how it elevates your day-to-day. -day. And if you're promoting Artlist, show how it elevates your production. Show how easy it is to search for a song, to download it, drag and drop it into the timeline. And I think the most important thing is the personal touch. Because the way you say things matter. And the energy in your voice that matters. And the spark in your eyes when you talk about a product that you use on a regular basis, that just sells without selling. That arouses an eager to want anything you promote. That is a superpower. And from a brand perspective, to have creators emotionally connected to your brand, that is brand affinity and brand loyalty goals. It's this duality of the relationship. If you do right by me, I want to do right by you. If you're a brand and you're treating us right? Like it's only going to incentivize me to want to do this better for you. I want to sell the product better because I'm enjoying this relationship. And you would hope that it's the other way around where if you're a brand and you see a creator that, that is going the extra mile and is very enthusiastic about it, that you reward those creators and you show them that you really care. Because if it's going to fall flat, the worst thing that could possibly happen is when you ruin the relationship with your audience. That's the most powerful thing that we have as creators, right? Our one-on-one -on -one relationship with my audience. I would never want to sell anything that I don't use. I would never want to sell anything that isn't just genuine to me. And they can tell instantly. So you want to work with companies that feel good. And if you're a brand, I would say, treat your creators like people. That's the biggest thing. At the end of the day, there are people on the other side. You want to build those relationships uh, because that's what's the most important thing and not just treat them as metrics. And, and, I, and I think that's exactly the win-win-win mm -hmm. between the brand, the creator, and the audience because at the end of the day, your audience is the wheel that fuels this creative economy. Thank you guys so much for Thank coming. Thank you so much. Appreciate, it. Appreciate, Appreciate it. your time. Happy Friday. Go have a margarita. Thank you. Thank you.